about 12 months ago, I was down here repairing this fence. I made a video of that. Look up here. We had another two trees fall on the same fence within 12 months. So, it's not doing too badly. It's hanging in there. We'll cut that one up now and uh, and repair the fence a bit further up where the barbs snapped. Why would the battery play up now? Yeah. I don't want to drop it on the fence, so I'll throw a few more leaves off the other side and see if it'll come over a bit easier.
can just see this landing on the saw or the camera, so I might just move that. The disaster was averted, by sheer luck. I've actually been playing up on the tractor, so I guess it's my own fault for not charging it up. So I'm now in for a bit of a, a walk back up to the shed. Oh yeah. Nothing like a bit of exercise, is there, in the daily grind. Anyway, at least the tree didn't fall on the fence. It caused more work. I should cut that one while I'm here, it'll be the next one to go. Ah, pack up the shed. I was given this generator. I had a few problems when I got it. Well, I had three problems in fact. But it was a bit like a Aeroplane crash, I think. The original problems that it had were caused by the its main problem, which was it had an air leak at the back of the carburetor. So I fixed it up. Fixed up the carburetor problem because it only ran with the choke on basically. I wasn't real happy about that. But obviously they had the owner of it. It was only bought in January this year. And uh, the owner of it got fed up with the problems. That was one problem. The other problem was that the recoil starter wouldn't recoil without muck, a lot of mucking around. The little man in the Chinese factory forgot to bend the tabs far enough so it, had, so it wouldn't recoil too far. So that and that. And when I got it, it had a whole lot of varnished fuel in the carburetor because the owner had obviously got fed up with it and and, uh, and just left it. So I cleaned out the carburetor, tracked down the leak at the back of it, which was a gasket leaking, and uh, fixed up the tabs on the recoil starter. Now I've got a, a generator. So I think what I'll do is I'll take the battery charger down with the generator, leave it on while I go have some lunch, and see if that's enough to start the tractor up. And if the tractor starts, I'll bring it back up here and we'll diagnose what's wrong with it. Now you may wonder why I was bringing the generator over to um, charge this battery rather than just swapping it out. Well, as you can see in there, to swap this out, you have to take this full cover off, which uh, I don't particularly want to have to do in this in, down here. I can do it up in the shed a lot quicker than I can do it down here. So, that's the story. The connections look all right. I don't know what's, what's going on. Maybe the alternator's not working. Alright. Let's see what we can do. First thing to do is take off one of the battery terminals. So we don't pry the, pry the diodes and the, and the alternator. Okay. Terminal removed. Yes, 
yes it's an old battery charger and yes it's only four amps but it does the job Oh, not the lightest generator in the world. I not much fuel as I've got right now. Just check the volleys in the battery before we start. Very cheap, mate. It's still raising 12 volts. All right. We'll start the generator. So I'm going to let that run. I'll let that run now. I'm going to have some lunch. Come back in an hour or two. See how we're going. Not a bad generator for three. We'll see if the battery's got enough warmth to turn it over. Hmm, okay, let's see if we've got enough warmth to turn her over. It's not putting out any power, so the battery's not recharging. It's a bit of a problem. the magic happens. The thing about having a quad bike and a fork with the tractor is I won't have to walk back until so. Voila. We have 
dog bike on pallet. So, we'll go quietly and we'll take the bike back up and I'll bring the truck down and get the generator in the soil. Beats walking. Oh, that was good. Now I might put that old girl outside. Get the big one in here, work on it in here. Okay. I'd have to thank uh, Bruce Bender and Donny Boy 73 on YouTube for, uh, for spurring me on to fix it. That's something they'd covered before, but yeah, the old YouTube.